Hey, welcome to the City of Tampa Parks and Rec Visual Arts team. My name is Rhonda and we're going to be making some image transfers today using rice paper and underglaze. This video is to accompany the sunset silhouette video that I did earlier because in that video we used image transfers that we made using trees, but I didn't actually show how to make the images. So this is going to give you a little bit of a side view of what was going on and how those images were made previous to making that video. All right, so let's break away, look at our supplies and get into the demo. All right, so let's go over some of the supplies. For making the image transfer, I prefer rice paper. My favorite brand is the Lowe and Cornell, um, but you can use newspaper. You can use newsprint, the packing paper. Um, they all release well. It's just this is this recently has been my uh, my go-to paper. Uh, if you're using the rice paper, there's going to be a smooth side and a rougher side. I like to put my images on the smooth side. It seems to release a little bit better. If I'm going to trace images on, I like to use a light color uh, marker or pen something other than black. If I'm using a black marker and then I trace the line with my designer liner and my black underglaze, sometimes I get lost. So I like it to be a little bit of a different color. If you don't have designer liner but you do have these little squeeze bottles, these count. Um, they're kind of one and the same. This you will, you can get them online pretty cheap and then you just fill them with your own underglaze. This here I feel like I can get a little bit of a finer line, but it's my preferred uh, underglaze for this. And then the other thing that I I like to have is uh, a little mini light table. So it's pretty it's pretty simple. Just plugs in and it turns on, and that allows you to trace your images pretty easy if you have something from the internet. Alright, so this first one we're just going to freehand and we're not going to trace anything. I'm going to draw a triangle and then my little line down the center to be the trunk. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally just go back and forth and stay within that triangle that I drew. So instead of having to try to figure that out as I go, I'm going to go ahead and just do that back and forth. So you can see I'm kind of like wiggling. It doesn't have to be consistent, it doesn't have to be even. They're trees, they're natural. Just gonna go back and drag it through. bottom flat. All right, so for this tree, what we're going to do is we're going to take our blue pen, draw a little triangle. a little guideline and I'm gonna make three kind of like arc or curved lines and then I'm gonna turn it upside down some folks like to tap their designer liner and squeeze until they run out of air and then flip it over I 
I tap down and make the air go to the top. It's all personal preference. <clears throat> I'm going to start at that little curve and I'm going to pull and drag towards the top. So for this tree, if you don't have a light table and you're making things a little small, you can use uh, painter's tape and lightly tape down your uh, paper to your, to your cell phone. And then let me turn the lights off so you can kind of see this a little bit better. Whoop, watch the phone go off. So then I can come in and without touching the touch screen, I can come in here and kind of trace this just roughly with that blue pen. Right, and then I can fill it in. I'll turn the light back on with the designer liner. So for this tree, I'm going to use my light table. I've already done this one and it's dry. I don't have anything printed from the internet. Uh, my printer at home, since we are, we are filming from home today, uh, did not cooperate. So I don't have any trees actually from the internet. So we're going to kind of wing it. Here's an image that I drew or drew with the designer liner earlier. And I'm going to make sure my slick side is up. And I'm going to lay it down. This is one way to get consistent images from one drawn. I'm going to tape both of them down so they don't kind of slide. And I'm going to come back in. And trace over it. Now you can trace over this with your uh, blue pen or your opposite color pen if you want but if you feel confident enough with your designer liner or your bottle of uh, underglaze just go for it why not
right, so here's an important thing to think about and to watch for when you're making these image transfers is whether it's dry or not. So right in through here, it's still kind of damp and you can see that there's still some moisture in it. And on this one, I hope you can tell that it's still kind of shiny. But you can see there's little globs of underglaze still on there. And if you were to put that down on your pot and rub over that, it's just going to squish out. So we do want to rehydrate our underglaze, but we want to rehydrate it once it's positioned dry onto our pot. So once all of these are dry, we'll just do a little tree, a little forest on our, on our pot and we'll see what they all look like. So once they dry, then we'll, uh, we'll uh, place them all on. So here we go, we have a sample silhouette mug with blue instead of red. And let's give a try to one of these <clears throat> trees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sponge and on this side, is where the underglaze or the designer liner went and this here is the back side and so I'm going to lightly dampen the back side so I can kind of see where that tree is even though with that pen on there it was kind of easy to kind of spot where it was at. I'm going to lay it down and then just like a temporary tattoo we're just going to put some pressure, not too much pressure because remember our piece is really fragile at this point. So we're just going to hold our sponge on the top. And then we'll lightly burnish with uh, a soft rib. And we can see if it transfers. If it doesn't, we can. The, the thing about going away from it is if my thumb is on here and I push away, I'll still be able to kind of lay it back down if it doesn't fully take. Now, my piece has uh, been sitting for a little while in the garage. As we know, it's like a billion degrees. So. This would transfer so much easier on a leather hard piece, but it can be done on bisque, or not bisque, but um, on a bone dry piece like this. Let's peel it back. You can see there's some spots not sticking because they're getting a little obstinate. We can go back in and fill it in with the designer liner, which is fine. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip this over. I can kind of see where that's going to be. So I really don't need. fit on here. This guy here. Careful not to uh, swish too hard because you can pull this out of place and smear it like I did on the other side but with the magic of TV if you call this TV you can uh, kind of cheat and I did a little bit but we won't tell anybody so I'm going to peel up and see where I'm at Looks like it's all sticking. Looking pretty good. There we go. And so some of that you can see there's like a little bit of aqua 
that transferred from the pen that'll burn off so that won't that won't be there even though it's pretty because it's kind of like the same color blue so here's where I originally messed up <laughs> You go, you get the idea. Different trees or what they look like. Obviously, it's not really at the landscape, but so there you go. Image transfer with trees. <laughs> 